Hi everyone, just a quick video on the Power Pro, what it is and what it does. So first of all, it is a uh, diagnostic tool to allow a mechanic to put direct battery voltage onto a component to test it to make sure that the component works. So if a customer comes in complaining that a wiper motor um, or electric window motor is not working or the component itself is not working, then this is a great way of diagnosing it and testing it and seeing if the motor itself is to blame. So what have we got? We've obviously got the Power Probe 3 lead here and we've got alongside it a little earth wire and then we've got 20 meters of wire here so we can go anywhere in the car with this and then two contacts for your battery so first of all we'll put the positive on the positive and the negative on the negative that lights up my power probe saying we've got power if i push the button here it tells me i've got 12.6 volts from that battery so i'm ready to go so two different types of systems really in a car that you can test some that are body earthed so uh, a again a wiper motor let uh, we think a bulb will be earthed locally where that component is and it will return through the chassis back to the back to the battery so in that case you'd use this as your positive normally and then you would clamp this on the engine bay or locally near the component you're testing um, to complete the circuit and then you deliver battery voltage uh, if it's in the door like an electric window motor it won't have a body earth because the door's not part of the part of the body of the car it will have a return wire through the wiring loom back into the car and then be earthed inside the car somewhere so that's where this one uh, it would need to go on to another connector or pin so you've got the positive side and the negative side so a couple of components to test here just to show you how to do it so this uh, in fuel injector for instance has two wires i'm going to put my negative here and then i've got my positive here so if i put my a power probe on there hopefully you'll see it's showing lighting up just here but it's actually negatively charged that's because i've got the negative wire on from the battery so it's showing me that circuit is negatively charged you can obviously depending on what sort of circuit it is and what you want you can add positive or you can add negative on this rocker switch and it will tell you what the circuit is that you're testing automatically so i'm going to put my probe on there and then all i'm going to do is push the button hopefully you can hear the uh, fuel injector energized Hopefully you could hear that clicking, that fuel injector is working. Uh, you can hear the clicking noises of solenoids um, opening and closing. So uh, another one I'll do, which is far more easy to hear. I've got this car horn here. Again, this has got two wires. It's got a live, uh, a live and a return. So I'm going to put one on one side. Just be careful not to cross these two wires, uh, the earth and the, the probe over, because obviously putting voltage through the machine itself. It does have a, um, a cut off here. So it will uh, save itself a, a circuit breaker. So I've got my negative on there. Well, it's obviously negatively charged because it's got a, a negative earth already. There we go, that's the car horn going off. So it's a great way of testing uh, components to see if they're the problem that the customers experience. Anything from a wiper motor at the back, a fuel pump, all the way to things in the engine bay, as simple as a car bulb. Obviously, if that component's working, what you then do is start tracking back from there. So follow the wiring down the car to the fuse panel uh, and see where that break in the communication between the fuel pump, for instance, and the fuse panel, see where that stops working. And then it gives you an area to work in uh, as to where that break in that wire is or where that bad contact is, uh, bad connection. Um, so that's a brief uh, starter on the, on the power probe. I say anything that runs on 12 volts a great tool to just uh, go straight to it, give it battery voltage and just determine whether that's the, the pump or the motor itself is the problem or whether you've got a wiring fault further downstream, um, upstream, sorry, from, from, your, uh, from the component you're testing. Hope that makes sense and we'll uh, see you on the next one.